Good morning guys, or whenever you guys are watching this, I just wanted to go through with you how we are going to cite our sources so you had a video to reference. So in Google Classroom, I know it looks a little different for you guys, but May 11th work, you click that Easy Bib link. This is going to be like your go-to. So we're going to first click Create Citations. And most of you will be using a website. If you have a book or a journal, I'll help you out with that. Just let me know. But we're going to click Website. And then it says to search by keyword or URL. So what you need to do is go to your citation or go to the website that you used. As you can see, I already have some of these cited. I'm going to copy that link. Go back into EasyBib. And I'm going to paste that link right in here. And then we're going to click Search. So it pulls up. This is the website. I'll pull it up over here so you guys can see what that looks like. Okay, so Kansas PDA, Kansas Historical Society. Okay, so Kansas and Government Politics and Government in Kansas Territory. Politics and Government in Kansas Territory. So you know that that should be the right one. We'll click Select Site. Alright, so it says it's needing help with the publisher, sponsor, and the date published. This is what it found. We're going to click continue. And scroll back down. So it's got the article title. For whatever information it doesn't have, I'm going to show you guys how to look for that information. So if you couldn't find the title, you would just go into whatever sheet you have. As you can see, this one is right here. Again, you can ask me if you need help. What we do need to find, though, is the author or contributor. And it looks like this one's not going to have one, but you can usually find it right here underneath the title. If it's not there, we go to the bottom. Ah, uh, look, it says right here, author is Kansas Historical Society. We're going to copy that. We're going to just paste that right in here as the first name. Since they don't technically have a first name, last name, we'll just put Kansas Historical Society. The website title, okay, so this is important why we look over things. Website title is actually going to be Kansaspedia. So we'll go back, we'll go into here, and we'll change this to Kansaspedia. The publisher sponsor, that's the Kansas Historical Society. Usually the author name will actually be a name instead of both being the author and the publisher sponsor. But in this instance, that is how it is. Our URL will stay right there. You don't even need to mess with that. And sometimes the date published will be, again, up here where the name of the author is. But for this one, we'll go down here, and some of these will have the same thing. Sometimes it'll be down here at the bottom. If I wasn't able to find it right here, then I would have put 2021 because that's the only information that it gives me. But since it does give us April 2010, that is what we're going to put in. So we'll put... No day, no day, just April, and then 2010. There's no time, so we're going to go ahead and complete citation. Double check to make sure that that looks about right. And then you can just click this, copy citation. You can exit out of that, and then you will be good to add it to whatever you need to. So, for example, I'm keeping track of all my stuff here, so I'm going to put that in here instead. So far I've got four and then I need to do this last one. Another way you can do it is if you go to, what, this is my example, if you go to your site you can just add a citation slide. You want to make sure it's readable. So we are going to change that to a white text. And there you go. That is how you cite sources without doing all the extra back work.